Hi everyone. So today I have this amazing video and I'll show you how to create unlimited influencer videos. You can generate the image yourself and then you can extend it. So one of these videos are 10 second long, but now you can create as long as like five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you want. I'll be demonstrating it with 30 seconds and how you can take the end frame and generate another one. So for this, I am using Kling 2.5 and I'm using this on Freepix platform, but the same concept can also be applied in Comfy UI. The reason I am using Kling 2.5 is because currently you can see in Freepix, you get unlimited generations for Kling 2.5 and it gives really good results as well. But other than that, if you don't want unlimited and you can change it to any other model here, you can see there are multiple models Kling 2.6 also generates native audio so that would be amazing if you want your uh, model to speak something for this video i'll keep it at Kling 2.5 here you can see i am using nano banana pro and 2k and on free pick it is also unlimited so this is not any kind of sponsored video it's just that i particularly have a subscription for the whole year and I love Freepik because most of the image generations that you see are unlimited and you get a lot of free like not free exactly but unlimited models for video generation as well. So I'll go through how I did it. So firstly, let's come to the text part. So the first node, you can see you can add nodes here. This is very similar to Comfy UI and Comfy UI provides way more uh, features as well. But uh, you can add a text node here and in the text node, you can give any prompt that you need to create this particular image. So for now, don't think about the video, just think about the initial frame of the image. So here you can see I have this platform, Pictionary AI, and I have uh, been uploading new uh, AI prompts daily for images. So this is a prompt from this. I have actually selected this particular prompt and you can see it gives very good results. You can select anything that you want. So with this, we have generated this particular image with Google's Nano Banana Pro. Now this looks amazing, but here is the main part. What we are doing is that we are taking this generated image and feeding it into one assistant node. So here you can see, you'll get the assistant node here. And here in the settings, you can see there is this system prompt and it is very important to keep it at five mini because it is way better than 4.1. The system prompt is analyze the image and suggest the simple motion for the next 10 seconds and action which would be best for TikTok or social media post. And later you can uh, add on whatever you want right so it needs to be natural and how you want the movement to be and because these are like fashion or influencer roles you can get into that and after that the best part is continue scene from the input scene should be continuation of the input scene but completely different actions like the next 10 seconds of motion and action not similar to input of previous 10 seconds and why this is important is that I am using the same node three times. So here you can see it takes the image, it generates one text prompt, and then it sends the text prompt to this along with the initial image. This generates our first 10 second video. And this looks amazing. But now what we do is that we take whatever the initial action prompt was generated and feed it to the next assistant. And with that, we are taking the end image of the video and then feeding it to the assistant as well. So now it is analyzing the image. Now it is analyzing the previous 10 second actions and it is now creating a prompt for the next 10 second, which is not exactly similar. Otherwise, what you will see is that most of the times you will have same action going on. Now, after this is prepared, this like gets on like a loop. You take the text from here, you feed it in the second video generator and you take the end image and feed it to the second image generator. So the end image of the first 
video becomes the first frame of the second video that is going to be next 10 seconds and we get another prompt that is not similar to this one but which has the context of the image or the video that is going on and the previous so it is going to be the continuation of it now with that we go on with this same process depending on how long we want the video so for this demonstration i had this for like 30 seconds so i am generating three videos but you can choose whatever you want that is completely up to you and again you can see the prompt is same for all of these now if you want i have made this like uh, overall a very generic uh, system prompt but if you want to fine tune it based on landscapes or maybe you want aerial shots or something like that you can fine tune this system prompt according to what you want and with that we get the final third video now after we get all of this you can get into any video editing software that you use and i am using the vinci resolve but you can use anything that you want it is not even like specific just import all of these and now just remember the serial of these videos and then you can uh, put them one by one one important thing that i have noticed is that sometime you just need to adjust the last frame so you can delete just the last frame you can trim it and then it becomes seamless so here you can see this becomes seamless between the two videos here you can see this is where the transition is happening and you will see it becomes seamless so most of the time you would need to remove like the last frame and yeah that's it also if you have doubt how to like download this so obviously you can get everything in your library but here you can click on export so right click on it and you can click on export and you can download all of these videos whichever you like so with that we can view the final output that we have created So you can see the video was amazing. Now if you want you can prompt all of these scenes one by one by yourself as well if you want something very specific. But if you want something normal that's cool. Another thing is that if you want to use some products for ads or anything you can add different images here as well. So in the video generation and in this particular image generation you can get the product as well. So this was it for today. Let me know how what do you think about this workflow and about this technique. And if you have any kind of doubt or comments, put it in the comment section below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you.